Today on the Tuesday Trio, three websites to help you build a website. Thank you so much for joining me here at Mana Studio. I am Nathan, with me as always is my tech director, Ronald, and this is the Tuesday Trio, where we look at surprise, surprise, three free and budget tech resources for your small church. Today we're gonna to take a look at three of the most popular website builders. These are websites that you use to build your own website. And today we are gonna look at Squarespace, Wix, and WordPress. So we're gonna take a quick look at three ways in which you might build a website or a church website. These are three of the most popular um, Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress. Uh, we're going to start with Wix. Wix and Squarespace are both hosts and builders all put together. WordPress is a little more complicated of a beast. So we'll start with Wix. Here's Wix. Um, Wix is what Reawaken Hymns website is built on. You can see here on the side I have all my pages and I can go to any of those and edit them. Let's go to uh, way in a manger. Sure. So this is a a visual, a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. Um, it's kind of an old term, I know, but um, so this is you just click on anything and you can move it around however you want. You see, I can slightly. It's going a little slow because I'm running the 80 programs right now, but you can move it slightly, or you can pick exactly where everything goes, and uh, you can add. Going very slow. You can add things. This is because I'm running a lot of programs right now. Buttons, boxes, listing grids, videos, galleries, like it's it's very graphically focused, I guess you would say. Of course they create all kinds of fun things. You can use like a social media bar or contact forms pre-made um, light box pop-ups that pop up when people come to your site. You can even do databases. Uh, you can even do membership on your site, which for a church uh, might be a really good thing actually membership is new I haven't done anything with it because the reawaken Hymns doesn't have members but for a church I could see that being very useful and then you can also add a blog to your site as well so there's tons of stuff you can do with Wix it's very very versatile I do really like it um, and it is good if you have somebody who knows what they're doing a bit and is ready to upkeep the website and keep it looking good but you do need some sort of skill or vision to, to make the website. Um, next, we will go to Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is, I think it's a bit easier. And for most small churches, I would pick Squarespace over Wix simply because it's harder to mess up the website. And church websites get messed up a lot because you have volunteers doing it and several different ones and they're all doing different things and it just goes badly. So Squarespace is a responsive design. So everything has a place it can go and it can't get out of that place and everything snaps. So when you change from a, a, a regular desktop website to a cell, cell phone website to a mobile website, um, the responsive design knows where everything goes and it looks great. Whereas with Wix, you have to design both separate so I'll, I'll edit and you'll see what I'm talking about here if you don't know. So you could see when I did Wix, I could kind of scoot everything around exactly where I wanted it and move everything. Here, if I try to move something, you'll see it can only snap to certain places. It can go there, it can go here, it can go there, 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 I can move it. But I can't just nudge it anyway. There's like built-in boxes it has to go in. It has to fit within this grid, this responsive grid here. So not nearly as customizable and you can't be quite as nitpicky about it, but much harder to mess up because things snap to where they're supposed to go and they stay organized. Um, it isn't quite as what you see is what you get because you kind of got to do some of your design here in this side menu with, with logo and such. And um, yeah, some of your, your pages you have to make outside and then like the, the top banner you have to you can't just insert it right here like I can't drag something there I have to go into the settings and pick what media goes on top so it's not quite as straightforward 
here's exactly how you change everything. But after a little learning curve, it is uh, fairly easy to use. And you can see here, the best part is it looks good because everything is set up right. The, the website builder keeps it set up. It's responsive. It snaps to where it's supposed to go. It stays organized. Um, so again, harder to mess up, which is really good for small churches using volunteers. So that is Squarespace. And the final uh, website builder, I guess you would call it, it's a C a CMS, a content management system, um, is WordPress. This is WordPress.org, not .com. WordPress.com is a hosted free blog built on a, the same platform. But WordPress.org is where you download the open source program called WordPress, and then you have to install that onto a server somewhere either locally or th more likely through a hosting service like Bluehost or something. And if you're getting confused about what I'm saying right now, then there's a chance that WordPress is not for you. I understand it's complicated. WordPress is a little trickier to use and it's not as, it's not a straightforward builder like Squarespace and um, Wix are where you just drag things around. Um, it's content management system. So you can see here is WordPress. And I can go to appearance, I can go to plugins. Um, if I go to appearance and customize appearance, then it'll take me to this. And this is the closest we have to kind of what we saw on Wix and Squarespace. And I can change things like site identity. We can say Nathan's awesome site. You can see it'll change there. Um, you know, put in a subtitle there. And it'll change little things like that, but you change them over here and you can't really change everything because they're in other places. Like I can't move these pages around or move all this sections around at all. Uh, that is done elsewhere. And then you can also pick other themes as well. You can pick, um, you have to install these yourself right now. There's only three pre-installed, but you can add new ones and there are thousands and thousands of WordPress themes and there are thousands and thousands of WordPress plugins which is why even though it's not an easy website builder like those other two are WordPress is by far the most popular website or the website builder no uh, content management system the most popular system on which websites are built a lot of the websites you go to from huge companies online will be built on wordpress because it is so customizable tons of themes you can purchase themes you can get free themes professional looking themes etc you can do lots of plugins for instance you can get plugins that help you build the website like wix and squarespace where it's kind of a drag and drop situation plugins for all kinds of things um it's all the program is open source which is again why a lot of places use it and it is very very powerful but it is not not immediately user friendly um, some people think it is and after you work with it for a while you get used to it but there's a very big learning curve on it so wordpress i would not recommend for most small churches that just have a volunteer that needs something easy to use but if you have a big church and a dedicated kind of web team, then you're probably using WordPress because it is by far the most powerful. But you don't need to watch this video because you already know that. So there we go. Those are our three website builders. Uh, Wix is the most customizable. What you see is what you get, um, but a little more complicated. Squarespace is the easiest. Um, to not mess up <laughs> everything stays looking good because they build it kind of build it for you and you just move things around you can have a little bit of a learning curve as well because things aren't exactly where you'd think they'd be but probably my recommendation for small churches and wordpress is really powerful and really customizable but it's pretty complicated to use uh, you have to install this open source program on a server somewhere and then figure out how to use the content management system to build your website. Again, if that sounds daunting to you just from what I said there, then it's probably not for you, but it is definitely the most powerful and most customizable. So there you go. There are three ways to build a church website. Thank you, past version of me. There we go. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Mana Studio to see more videos just like this, and I will see you back here next week.